Welcome back to the show, everyone. Of course, guys, we need a little help, some tips, some well, things to help it make it easier. And that is why Giovanni is back by popular demand because he had some guy advice the last time he did a style segment on our show. And today we're focusing only on the guys, the top yeah. five tips for the modern man. Giovanni, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Giovanni, yeah. what happened last time is, is you were talking about style in general, but you had mm -hmm. one thing uh, for guys that was talking about matching patterns and how yes. to do it. And we got so much email, we did. I can't even explain. Well, excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Well, but I, I think I'm glad to know men are, they care listening. about these They things. care. Well, they want to do it right. They just yeah. don't know how. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. There are resources out there, but most guys are just too apathetic to sort of go and sort of seek it out, I guess, most it of the time. It is true. And if they only knew, it would get them higher positions in their companies. It would get them more ladies. It would get them yep. noticed. For promotions. Sure. Well, on. let's talk about the pocket square because today You're one. you have one on. These mm -hmm. are definitely back in style, and they are very, very dapper. But you have to know, yeah. uh, guys are intimidated by them because they don't—they buy them and they don't know how to fold them. And they don't come know over how to here. Match it's them. not easy. It isn't easy. Let me show. You. Well, it is actually easy. I said it's not easy, but it is easy. Okay. It's as simple as this. For example, okay, this is the simplest. What I've got going on. The simplest way to do a pocket square is you just open it up. Open it For up. For example, grab the little point here. Just I don't like get that. it. Basically, make a little <laughs> poof. And that is. And that's your end. The poof, and then that and goes. And you don't have to be too in. fussy about this one. It doesn't have to be too perfect. You basically just throw it in there. And uh, the key really is that we've discovered this morning as we're looking through this is matching your fabrics, right? More than anything. Yes. For example, you have this very casual cotton top. Yep. I would probably use a cotton pocket square with so this. So match shirt sometimes. If you have a bit dressier, you can wear. For example, this, mind you, this is cotton as well, but yeah. because I have such a solid color, I'm getting yeah. away with And don't be afraid of color with these two. No. I mean, how do you go with the contrast with your shirt? Should you worry about matchy-matchy? What, what, how do you pick the color? Well, usually, for example, right here we have, if we get a, ooh, a close-up really of this cool. one, the color story is in the pattern. So pick any of these colors. You could wear this blue, that blue. You could wear a white. You could wear a cream. Any of these shirts. Yeah. Pick a solid if you can. Now we have our wonderful model Thank Alex you. here today. Yeah. Shall we pocket square him? Why don't we pocket square Let's him? Pocket square. We'll Let's do the pocket TV. Square. Let's do the TV pocket square. Okay, I don't know what that means. Okay, well this is it's a <laughs> fold name. Okay. So this one's easy. So you fold a triangle like this. Fold triangle. Then you right. fold over. And then kind of like origami a little so bit. So this is more of a little bit of the old school style, isn't it? It is, but it isn't. It's very traditional, but what we're going for is just this top part. So watch. I'm gonna oh, I see. So this is when the, just the, the top part's peeking out, so you just see yep. the little splash of color. You bet. So we have just, this is very GQ right here. Very GQ. So we just have this beautiful little peekaboo right and there. And for some reason, peek -a -boo. it just makes women <laughs> impressed. That it does. It makes it different. It does. Because yeah. you're like, what? That guy's pocket got it square. going on. He's well, got a and square. all this says the same thing, and it's that, that effort. Just effort. Yes, that's the word. Exactly. Effort makes a big difference for I think anybody. Well, okay, exactly. let's talk about some of the things. Wallets. You brought. Oh uh, well, this I just brought these to show you. If you're going to go through the effort of getting your pocket squares, get yourself some little accoutrement, some mm -hmm. neck tie accessories, clip, tie bar, some cufflinks. Cufflinks are impressive as well, and you don't need a tie now. The puff is the new tie. The puff. The puff is the new tie. This is, is the, the new tie. tie. The puff is the new <laughs> I tie. Like that, yeah. Okay, can we talk about wallets for a moment? Because uh, yes. some of the men out there, they do the. It's famous. They do the George Costanza, yeah. and one of their butt cheeks is just popping right out. You know, I, I always ask my clients. <laughs> uh, we call that badunka dunk, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you had on your face one cheek bigger than the other, would you not get plastic surgery? There you go. Why, why is it okay for one butt cheek to be bigger and than you, the other? And why are you carrying around receipts from 20 uh, years you. ago? Exactly. exactly. Uh, and you don't need pictures of all your dogs that you've had your whole life. Now, well, this is a great one. And the world's a marvelous place because you don't need the video cards anymore and all these other things. <sighs> exactly. So, you know what? Minimal, minimal, minimal. This is all you need, really. This is what I use. Yeah. You can put your credit cards in here, some cash in here, give your change to charity. Now this is the one Eckford like has, pocket. and it was his yeah. upgrade from your paper clip. Yeah, I, I had a paper clip. Which is another bad thing. To hold everything the money together. clip. You oh, pull out paper a paper clip. clip. <laughs> oh, okay. An actual paper clip, not oh, a yeah, money no, clip. Oh yeah, no, I thought it was pretty classy. Awesome. It was a big it paper works. clip. Whatever. Okay, okay whatever. now we're going to talk about. Uh, I just want to show actually yes. the bag. This is another way to do it. You, if you don't have anywhere to put your wallet in the summer, the messenger bag, the man bag, the yeah. man purse, if you will is a way to go. This is Five Left, a local designer. You can find some funky ones. And they, they make good wallets too, these they guys. They do. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Uh, now we're going to talk about underwear and what's oh. important because there are times when you have to take your pants off. Yes, there are. Uh, doctor's office. When you take your pants off. <laughs> police. Here is a don't. You know, things like that. You bet that is a don't. It is summertime and it's time to get your frick on. Yes, it is but in the air. And that the Grampy pant, I call it. The Grampy that. pants. <laughs> this is Grampy pants. And they usually have baggy bum. Yeah, they it's say that's Grampy. Grampy. Uh, and let's just say, guys don't usually know how to launder wipes properly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but okay. We have a great Nasty. line now. We Remember Ginch Gonch? Ginch Gonch. We yeah. love Ginch This is Jason Sutherland from Ginch Gonch. His new line, Piss and Vinegar. I love these. Could you start taking your pants off, please, Alex? Hey, Alex is taking his pants off. <laughs> And Alex a big shout out to you Alex's what it look mom, like. who's in the green room. <laughs> hey, hey, Alex's mom. There we go. Hello. Now, that is what I'm talking about. That is what you should see when a man takes his pants off. That is Thank what you. you'll see when I take my pants yeah, off. Me too. And me too. Sandy yeah. Sallow is crying in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a whole man. But you know what? Underwear shouldn't be something. It should be fun. It should be fun. Look, Jesus loves me. Yeah, are these he does. Like, look at that yeah, on, the, on your bum. Jesus, <laughs> yeah, he does. Me. I like these two. So well, these are the same ones that Alex has. This has a Buddha on it. So, yeah. if you're not Christian, you know, yeah, you can go Buddhist. I say, put your hero I on your just underwear. You're Superman supposed to rub underwear. it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rub the. <laughs> I never thought of that till just now. I didn't either. You rubbed the. Buddha. You're good and dirty, Fiona. I like that. I guess that wasn't ladylike. <laughs> we'll have to do that for the next segment. Okay, okay. Uh, matching socks, socks to shoes yes. to belt. What's now the I rule? have seen Eckford struggle with this. You don't anymore. I know what the rule is, and I don't always follow it. Okay, anyway. let's talk about the rules. The rule is. You can put your pants back up. <laughs> <laughs> it got awkward. <laughs> I forgot. You know, I didn't even notice anymore. It's just Urban Rush. I didn't even. I was like, oh, man, with pants on. I but, forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I, uh, how could you forget? I don't know. Really. Okay, but what's happening? Shoes need to match your belt. That is still the rule, yes, people. That's a and if you're worried, if you can only afford one belt, they have these great little switcheroo belts that can go brown. That can so go the black will just switches because there's brown does not yeah. go with black when it's shoes no. to belt. Not even no. for girls, it doesn't go. And Never. your socks need to be the color of your pants. So yes. let's say you're wearing navy yes. pants because it extends the leg. I Thank you. Yes, worst, which is important. The yeah. worst don't just like the men's tidy whitey thing is mm -hmm. the t the tan socks with the wrong color. Alex, shoes. you look guilty there, man. What's uh, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> no, what color are your socks? Alex, color? take your pants off and show us They're your socks. Black. <laughs> They're black. See, when you're wearing That's denim, right. this is the rule. When you're wearing a denim, go with match your shoe. If you're wearing white runner, wear white socks. If you're wearing black shoes, black socks. Really quick, uh, we're out of time, Giovanni, but I know that sometimes men get hair where they shouldn't have yes. hair, but it's important to trim. Sure is important to trim. Manscaping doesn't just mean the chest and everything no, else. No, trim everywhere. Nose hairs, no, ears hairs. Ears are weird. Tweeze between the eyebrows. Yes. One eyebrow, no one will trust you. That's the truth. It's science. Giovanni, you can go to his website to get all the information about the rules that we're talking about. Uh, Pinkandgray.ca is the website right. that you can go to find all these great items. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, we're going to get our barbecue on and we're going to get our gin on uh, right after this. Stay tuned. I wonder if that works for anyone. Take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs>